Hey folks, welcome to Market Intraday Analysis by InTheMoneyStocks.com, your leaders in pure technical analysis, avoiding all that Wall Street hype. Today, Monday, June 15th, 2009. Well, we're seeing a solid sell-off on Wall Street, folks. Very, very nice sell today on the downside. We're just hovering off the lows of the day right now, although you have a little bit of a positive bias candle formation in place right now. I'll discuss that in a minute. Number one, I first want to go over what the market's doing, why it's doing that, and let's start with that. So first of all, Dow is down about 191 points. The NASDAQ is lower by 48, and the S&P 500 is down 23 points, basically 2 to 2.5% 2 across the board on the indexes. Now, what caused this sell-off here today? That's what everyone's curious about. First of all, you have to understand how the market works. Friday was a very qu a quiet day in the markets. It also kind of told us a little tale from Thursday. Highlighted on Thursday to our premium subscribers, I talked about a little change in character here all the way on the fall into the close. Normally on the into the close, we see a monster rally up. You know, it's been a buy program central into the close. So that's the first thing we're going to look at today, folks. Into the close today from 3 to 4, do we see the buy programs or do we not? Because Thursday could have been a little change in character. We're just looking for confirmation. Friday really was no good confirmation. You just had very, very light activity into the close on Friday. A little bit of a buying coming in, but nothing significant enough to really raise our attention off of Thursday's major sell into the close. So that's really what we're focusing on here today. I want you to very, very closely watch 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern Time today, the last hour of the markets, to see whether or not we're going to see a big, big sell-off into the close or a rally into the close, or we're going to see the normal squeeze into the close where buy programs emerge. All right, after that, next we want to look at our key levels today, guys. The key levels working out beautifully. And before I get to these key levels on the intraday technicals, I want to first let everyone know that those of you that are premium subscribers to the chat room and the research center were privy to the call made last week on Thursday and Friday that Monday was a turn point in the markets uh, on a one day basis here, okay? That's the key. We had called it out. My partner had analyzed the cycle activity, the pivot activity based on pure technicals that he does, which are major, major calculations and come up with a down day for today. It is working out perfectly. Can't stress that enough. The move today was perfect. Last week, he also had one from last Friday into Monday. And sure enough, let me go back to that and show you exactly how that worked out to give you a sense of how accurate these are. He's the best in the business out there, no doubt about it. This is Friday. We called it for Friday into Monday, meaning that you'd see a pivot high put in and then a pullback for a two-day period. Sure enough, the high was made on the gap up on Friday. We ended down here. So you went from 95, 60, 95. 550 all the way to a close on Friday at about 94.30 to 94.40 and then you hit a low on Monday which is really the, the extension of that at $93 even so basically a two and a half dollar drop on the spiders off of that today what are we seeing hmm another two to two and a half dollar drop today from the close on Friday to today's down move right now you're currently down 248 on the SPY so you see how accurate these things are and obviously those in the chat room were able to take advantage of it he really stressed it on Friday as a key pivot going into that move alright and again we're seeing a little bit of selling coming in here but right back to a triple bottom folks this triple bottom very very secure I'm gonna show you why these levels are so important alright you had a little bit of a positive bias coming in here on these candles notice how you had a nice up candle green one two inside bars but now this one if we close down here will negate that negativity and you'll still stay at triple bottom support right now if this pink line breaks right here this light pink you'll have to go and isolate we'll isolate the 60 minute to talk to you about where the next level could be okay now let's talk about our levels today why are the levels so accurate why do they continue to be so accurate why has in the money stocks key level technical analysis, trend line analysis, price pattern and time really emerged as a gold standard out there for technical analysis and really understanding which way the markets are going to go. This is exactly why, folks, because the accuracy, how much it continues to be. Look at the levels going into today. The levels going into today were obviously 95.20 right here, 94.40. Then right below 94.40, you had the low of the day from Friday. Look at where we gap down. Now, our system dictates that depending on where this first candle goes is going to tell you exactly where the high probability of this market goes. Sure enough, notice how you didn't recapture this move to the upside here and move back up and get back above on this candle. Sure enough, you close below it. That tells you near-term sell most likely. What happens to the markets? Down we 
go? Where do we go? 93.40, which was a major, major, major level. We've stressed so many days. I've talked to you guys about it for countless days, even in these free videos. But to our premium subscribers, they know a little more about that, a little know more of why that's such a key level and whether or not it's a key level more than just an intraday level or is it more of a daily level as well. We'll discuss that again in tonight's videos very, very much so because this is going to really dictate whether or not do we see a jump back into the close of today. If we don't see that, do we see a rally back this week? Because remember, it's options expiration week. This is a major week for volatility. Be ready for it. And sure enough, notice how you came down to 93.40, bounced off of it, then retraced, broke, came all the way down to our next level at 92.50. Now, why is 92.50 a big level? Many people might want to know. I am going to tell you right now. Check this out. All right, you take this and extend your charts all the way back here, right here. All right, remember two weeks ago from Friday, you had that monster squeeze into the close and then Monday gapped us up and we got in this channel, 95.25, 95.20 up here, down to 94.40. That was that channel. Well, guess what? Gap fill, official gap fill at 25.50 right here on the charts is exactly that point. Where did we come into today? Follow the same color line, all right, as I extended all the way back. Look at that, guys. I mean, this is just understanding, and you have to be appraised of this stuff. If you're not doing this, you're just you're just leaving money on the table or losing recklessly. It's just insane, in my opinion, uh, to to do this kind of thing without understanding pure technical analysis that we teach in the research center and the chat room. And obviously, our webinar series is fantastic. We have DVDs on the way, hopefully as well, very soon, and a bunch of other things coming in. Again, we're adding a new feature to the research center as well. This new feature will be amazing, folks. It's going to be uh, charting based off of key daily, weekly charts that are going to give us, those in the research center, our premium subscribers, a better handle on swing trading on the larger time frame. So those of you that are investors and swing traders, this is what's going to be the key for you. We're going to be isolating charts, putting charts up there on a daily, bi-weekly, weekly you know, whenever the charts come up, we're going to be isolating them and putting them up for our premium subscribers to see. We're going to be showing key levels. Watch this level. Watch this level. This could be a good sell level. This could be a good buy level. All that kind of stuff on a larger time frame, which again means larger moves for the people that are swing and longer term investors. Okay. Nonetheless, guys, I just called this out. I said double, triple bottom support. And if we close down there, it would negate the bullish pattern, but actually you're bouncing all the way up. So sure enough, we did triple bottom there and now it bounced back up. So this bullish pattern is still intact, as I discussed. Inside bar so far. If we were to close below this green candle on the downside, then it would negate that, but you'd still have triple bottom. Now again, watch 3 o'clock to 4 o'clock. I can't stress how much that's going to mean in this market. Do we see the buy programs come in? Do we see you know crazy amounts of, of little you know, buoying the markets up, trying to save the markets again? We've seen that so many, so many times. I can just go back to last Monday. Look at last Monday. All right, We had a nice gap down and a hard sell, kind of mirroring today in a way, and then we up into 3 o'clock, we were trading sideways to up, and then all of a sudden we blasted higher into the close, closing the markets barely negative on the day. And what the question is going to be is, are we going to do that again here today? And we'll know more, obviously, between 3 and 4. And what, the, what this means, guys, and I'll discuss this in the nightly video again, is... It, what happens if we don't? Does that change anything? What happens if we do? Does that change anything? What are the key levels here to watch for a close below or a close above to tell us where the rest of this week could be playing out in options expiration? This is all information that if you don't know, you're crazy, in my opinion. And again, we're going to have to dissect it and see. But nonetheless, notice the triple bottom level right here at 92.50. That's holding right now. If that breaks, we have to scan to the 60-minute chart to see where would be the next point. And the next point clearly is the 200 moving average right around $92 each even number would be the even play. That would be extremely good support right there on the 60-minute chart, folks, all right? Now, one other thing. Notice how ever since for two weeks straight, we've been in this sideways pattern. Look, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Now, it looks like we broke down, but notice how there's going to be major support coming into play right here at $92 even number. That's just 50 cents lower, so there's actually not a whole lot of downside here, but just keep that in mind, folks. Now, let's go back to the intraday 10-minute, guys, and check this out. All right, I just called this out. Again, we closed still above the low there, so this could be still bullish, but if we close back below that, it'll be negated, but nonetheless, you're getting a little bit of a green can Handle. They're still holding the sideways pattern. Very, very intricate, very key in this analysis right now. So many key things in this market going on. Can't stress it enough. I do encourage you to come join the Research Center. All the services in there are fantastic. You can check them out. You can even see the videos, uh, I think, after 10 or 15 days. They're viewable to the, to the public for free. So you can see them when they're old, obviously, and get a sense. You can see the daily market reports. You can see the accuracy and so forth of all our levels and get a real sense of why it's so important to join up in that Research Center to get a leg up 
up on every other investor, swing trader, day trader out there. The chat room as well is fantastic. You can ask us questions. I'm in that chat room giving live play-by-play -play over voice. That's the key. It's all done by voice. You see my computer screen. You see my partner's computer screen, our charts, as we analyze and give play-by-play -play all day. Hope to have you soon. Take care. Have a wonderful afternoon, evening, and we'll see you tomorrow. Take care.